Hello, people. Welcome back. Welcome back to episode five of my survival series. Today, as stated previously, we're going to be starting work on our lovely iron farm. But since then, I have gone ahead and got a little bit more iron because we have got none. And I've also got some lovely nether bricks because I'm starting to get resources gathered for our lovely mob farm, which we built up in the sky. Hopefully during episode six or seven, I'm gonna put out a nether brick because well nether brick uh, nether bricks it's really easy to mine and I've pretty much got a whole lot of resources now coming through for all this lovely dried kelp. So what we need to do now is probably get right. Oops, let's just get right into building this lovely building. As you may notice, I've only got some very junk picks here at the moment, but that's all I can actually afford because I keep dying and losing my lovely XP because it is very irritating so I don't have an XP farm set up yet hopefully I'd, I'm still trying to get to the end as quick as possible but I've got two ender pearls set up so far so first off to do this farm I'm just going to grab a couple well I'm going to clear out this inventory a bit grab a couple bits and it's, it's it's actually a really 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 simple design well most of you guys out there who are watching if anyone is watching out there which is not the usual I'm just talking to myself most of the time because no one actually watches my videos so I'm going to build this up so it's up a little bit higher I want to have it so it's about this level here and first off I'm going to put down one piece of glass two three oh, oh I suppose I want to have it sort of center with this bit here so maybe one two three four one two so I'm going to have a gap going down here And I just realized what I am doing. I'm doing this absolutely incorrectly of not how I want to do it, because that will be the center of the farm there that I've just decided to build, which I'm not don't want here. So I'm gonna have the tip of the farm going here and I'll get rid of these bits as we go along. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Go down, back and double check because I've done this farm multiple times and got it on correct one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Simple. Now we go round. I think I'm going to make this bit here the center point actually. So then we go drop two, three, four. If you guys know what the farm is going to be looking like anyway. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quickly speed this up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put this up like this here to try and save blocks. I'm going to go ahead and get this lovely bottom layer done. Or bottom pad done. And I'll be right back when I get this done. Let's just zoom in here. Okay people, this, this layer is now done. So what we have to do is go ahead and just add three lovely blocks in the corner. And yes, I'm probably going to add a little bit more detail. And this is going to get a little bit boring if I have it all made out of polished andesite. So I'm going to go ahead like that there, and what I have to do now is I have to build this up by one, two more blocks. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to build it all out of this. I might go around and eventually add in some new details of this here. But once I build it up by two blocks, I'm going to go around and place in one, two, just doors going around the entire outside, except when it comes to this lovely centre bit here. One, two, three. One, two, three. We build it up by three. One, two, three. Hang on. Then, hang on. We build it up by two more. Sorry. Yeah, build it up by two more. But except this one here does not have doors above it, so I have to go up a little bit more taller. But I'm gonna, I think I might quickly chuck in some water now and check that everything is measured out correctly. There is a the weird glitches of the water though that you do get in this update aquatic like this bit here. It's quite I find it quite weird how that occurs. So go along and hopefully all of this here should be counted out correctly in theory. Let's just quickly block that little gap up. And this is very painful to go through water without depth strider. So, as you guys seen in my video released out of the Kerr 35 server, I mean Kite MC, that's what it's called, 
is that, well, yeah, my base looks a lot more nicer on there because it's a lot, doesn't take as much to get all the resources gathered on a server where you can just quickly go back and forth to a base. Plus, my base is not really in that deep of an ocean, so I've at least got access to a lot more resources and that type of stuff compared to this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See what I mean? If I built this entire farm up, it would have been off by one entire block, and that would have been very irritating. So what I want to do now is I need to bring this in by one more, don't I? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to quickly look for some other blocks to actually put on this base, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And not as plain. I'll see you guys then. Okay everyone, here's now an update on the grey beast, I might call it. Even though it only produces a little, pretty much a stack of iron an hour, maybe. But I'll probably stack another one up on top eventually. But anyway, what we need to do now is go ahead. I'm pretty, I've got rid of my slabs, okay, that... This is just going to be like this here for now, but anyway, we have to go up one, two, one, two, one, two. Just leave it get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And very simple, just go around and place all the doors in position and block off those sections there because this is where it's going to hold in our lovely villages once I get them from the island somewhere over in the distance. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means it should be here. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to go ahead and quickly get these doors done. Okay, people, I've just placed in our last door, and now I'm going to go ahead and place in our top layer. Yeah, I think it's like this here. I believe it's up one, so it's covering up. Just simply going round the inside, and I've also placed in the water in the corners as well. Yeah, it's just placed down our lovely cobblestone, because this is just a cheap block, this is just a cheap made farm. If I really want to make a better one in the future, I could easily just tear this down, it won't take that long. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and place round all these lovely cobblestone blocks here. And I'm going to leave that a uh, 3x3 three three area in the centre, but I'm going to go ahead and add these lovely blocks going around the top. I'll be back once I have done that. Okay people, the top section is now done, so now we need to start work on our lovely bottom bit. I've also been during the cutscenes, or between in between times when it's night time, and I see some lovely, uh, what's that, what are they called? The grumpy things are when you stare at them. I've got mind blank. Ah, uh, the Endermans. I've been slowly trying to kill off them. We've got a drown here. Because so far I've managed to gather eight ender, ender pearls. I don't know why my brain's going blank for them. Oh, I'm actually getting so sick of drowned because they just constantly like spawn. They've got nowhere to actually stop them from coming in. It's actually... Go away. It's actually a pain in the backside when you're just trying to build something simple. And they're like, literally, like, that's right there. Especially when you're just trying to do stuff and then all of a sudden there's a trident getting thrown at your head. The amount of times I've been killed by a trident so far is actually quite bad. I forgot to grab science, didn't I? So all I'm doing now is just... <sighs> Great. Love tridents, absolutely love them. They are pain in the backside. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some signs, and I'll be back over here very shortly. Stop trying to kill me, little pain in the backside. Okay, people, I managed to get our signs and also die a couple times by those lovely trident wielding things. I really need to get myself some better armor. I need to get it also. Oh, go away! I also need to get myself a bit of like glass texture back as well because it's quite a pain for depth judging as well. Go oh, away. Um, because as you can tell just there, I'm going to put a little bit of dirt underneath so I can get up. A little bit of 
be drowned dance. Okay, so what you, what you have to do here is, this should be a 3x3 three three area. Now, as long as I don't have a lava, 1, 2, 3, you have it drop down. So it's 2 up, so you'll have it, so you've got, the, got your lovely signs here. Go then round there, round there, round there, round there. What I want to do is place in two bits of wood here. And now I need to jump up, place the lava, jump down, and then place in a lovely sign. Simple. And then all you need to do, do now is go ahead. So he's one down, so you just place in your lovely, what are they called? Hoppers. Very simple and very easy to do. Okay, people, now that is pretty much the lovely Guardian farm done. Quite simple and quite easy. But what to make it work? Well, we need to go and get ourselves some lovely villagers. Sorry if that went a bit quiet there. A bit, away, bit, a bit, a bit away too far away from mouth. So now we need to go ahead and we need to start getting in our lovely pads ready for our villagers. So I'm just going to go down like this here. We need to have up two rules here. Bring out one here. Quickly grab that bit there, and I'm just gonna hop up here. And this is the chambers that you have to build for both sides. So this is where we're gonna put our villages in. I just have to come up with a way to get them up to this height. I might just put in like a little um, water elevator either side and just carry them around. That could be simple enough. Or I might just jump down here, jump down here. And I'm going to go ahead, I think, and I might make like a temporary water stream barriers going around the outside. So then I have water flowing around, I have them brought up all on one side, and I just slowly move them around. But what I need to do first is I need to go ahead to the other side. I might try and see if I can get through doors, actually. And I need to go around, and I need to actually start breeding them on one side first, because I'm only going to be bringing over two of these villages at a time. Whoops, perfect. Look, so I'm only going to bring over two villages and they can, I just breed them up because I'm not going to go back and forth like two, four, two, four, six, eight times. That's, that's just a little bit too much for me. So let's just get rid of that. I want that to be a double slab because it looks a little bit more nicer. Place up the lovely walls. And then I'll go and put in a little elevator sort of thing here eventually. But now we, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and collect our first villager. And so we've got a lovely villager island up over in this direction, I believe. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I get over there to collect the villager. Okay, people, I'm back. And it's been just a little tiny bit since that last clip when we put around the ring on top of there. I've done a little bit of resource gathering to get ready for our mob farm, which I'm probably going to place over here, or maybe over here still. Not exactly sure, but that is going to be Nimbombs one. It's going to be like a diamond shaped one, more efficient and a lot more easier to build. And I've done some mining as well. I've got some lovely diamonds that I do. I'm starting to do mining, my mining over in the tree district, I want to call it, where all the spruce forest and that is. We go through our portals. I believe I've showed you that location before. So now all I need to do ahead is grab some lava and grab some lovely glass. I'm pretty sure I've already got some over at the place anyway. But what I've been doing so far, I was killed by Phantom, sadly, but I also repaired my lovely pickaxe, so I can just silk touch with that stuff. It only costed a couple of diamonds. But this this was full of mobs just before, because it's like the only, like, this place is always full of mobs, because it's the only place you can really, like, they can really spawn. So, so, so what I need to do now is I need to grab our water buckets. Need to quickly hop up over here. And I need to get rid of these mobs that are on here. So what you need to do now is go ahead. Oops, actually I need to place that bucket down there. That one there, place that up there and that up there. And just do the usual stuff that we did for the bottom lays. Going around very slowly. Placing all the buckets of water in. And placing one up here, one over here. Oops. Just fix that there up and placing them going around. I'll be back once I have done that. Okay, people, I'm over at the village and now I need to get our lovely villager sent down. 
Now the problem is it is coming night time, so I'm going to probably assume quite badly that the drowned will go for villagers. Because they're pretty much zombies, but they swim in the water. So when I get back to my island, I'm pretty much going to have to do a bit of protection for these guys, aren't I? I'm going to have to try and get them up into there as quick as possible. And also sleep as well. I need to get this, this clerk. You're a clerk, aren't you? Yep. I need to get you into this boat as quick as possible. Because as soon as that's going to be dark, you're going to want to run back. I should have done this a bit of a better way. There we go. Now let's head back to our base. And I'll see you guys once I get back there again. Okay, people, I've got my villager back, and I've created a lovely little system over here. So now I need to get rid of this here. Try not to kill him. We'll try not to kill it. And, oh, for a second I thought they wouldn't have floated. And now I'm hoping if I get it into here. The villager into here. Oops, there we go. This might take a little bit of an attempt. What I have to do? What, what's happened there? Um, I need to um, 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 try and think of a way that I can do this. Uh, I'm making a mess. Um, is this here? Can the stairs still? I'm pretty sure stairs still work. So let's just if if I have a solid object there before my village gets killed. I just destroyed the source and I. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that this time. Get that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Do that there. And place in. What am I? What am I doing? Sorry. Let's have another attempt at doing this correctly. Get that. Get that there. Get that there. Make that there. So it's an infinite water source. And then push this little villager into it here, and it should work like a charm. Hopefully, if you if you want to get in, why don't you want to go in? There we go, perfect. Now we've got this village up here, nice and safe. And now we want to cover over this bit here, and we want to push them into this lovely little chamber over here. This is how the villager breeder is going to be working, people. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place over some glass to protect. I'm going to feed them and so I can make them a lovely breed. This is all I'm going to be doing for today, people. Getting it, I'll end it off at this bit here. I'm going to get the, all the rest of the villages in there during the next episode and that there. And then I'm also going to be gathering a little bit more resources so I can start a lovely mop farm by next episode. That's my plan next episode. I will be building the mob farm. I wish I had the replay mod and all that that I could use to build it, but that's not going to happen because Forge has not been released yet for 1.13.2. So I'm going to go ahead and do that there. And I'm also, yeah, I'm probably going to do a little bit more mining as well because I'm getting quite low on stuff. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this today's episode and I will see, whoops, I will see you guys next time in episode 6. Thanks for watching. You can be my new thing.